How we going guys? The Loot Gamer over here. And welcome to another episode of Really Cool Gaming Loot. Over here people, we got the Fallout Vault Girl from Modern Icon. All I can say is that they probably use maybe a harder plastic compared to the Power Fist itself. But the base is looking really nice, of course. As we can see at the bottom here, bottom icons from Fallout. But having a look at the boot texture they did on this figurine, looks really awesome here. And looking at the top here, we can sort of see the ridges on her legs there. Moving up to the Vault Suit itself, looks very worn out and rugged, which is probably what they really wanted to do. The nail polish was done pretty alright, I guess. Um, let's have a look at her texture of her skin here. Looks pretty much okay there. And having a look at the sledgehammer itself. Let's have a look and see whether this sort of looks like in the game. I would say it looks pretty alright. They could have done a bit better on that. But the paint job was on, I would say, decent. Not the best that I've seen. Having a look at the back there, a really nice ass. As we can sort of see that, that really focus on her butt cheeks. <laughs> which I really can't complain much on. But at least, you know, the back is looking pretty all right. And, of course, we can sort of see the back there, the triple one at the back. The detailing of the sledgehammer. Her hair textures here. I kind of like the way they did that. And, of course, the thumbs up there. The nail texture there. The Pip-Boy on her arm. Let's have a look and see whether they put detail into this Pip-Boy. And at least they paid a little bit of attention to detail with that. But looking at her face here, with one wink up and her lovely eyes there, her blue eyes, I say it's pretty decent. Let's zoom in a bit so we can sort of see a bit more finer detail. I reckon it's pretty okay, a bit smudged out as you guys can see at the bottom there. If I could have paid a bit of attention to detailing with this smudging, but if you're paying, what, 50 bucks for this, I kind of hope they sort of did a slightly better job. But not a really bad job that I could say. I kind of like it. Let me know in the comments below 
what you guys think. 51 as a comparison in terms of detailing. As we can sort of see here, pretty similar height, a bit thicker, wider rather on the T51 as you can sort of see there. But I honestly do prefer the base of the Vogue Girl compared to this one. With this one over here, you can sort of see it's just all gravel-like, but I really do love what they do with the base here. This is probably one of my favorites. Uh, compared to the Nuka Cola Girl, unfortunately, guys, I, I don't have that because I had to sort of swap them out to get more loot. But honestly, if I had to compare between this and the Nuka Cola Girl, I would probably say I prefer this one a bit more because of the detailing of the base and overall the sort of aesthetic of it. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these two statues. Which one do you guys prefer in terms of detailing? Of course, there's so much more happening with the T51, with the gun, etc. But in case you guys prefer just something minimalistic and plain, I kind of like the Volt Girl. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This is the Volt Girl from Fallout. What do you guys think? Would you guys be picking this up for 39.99 US dollars or 78 Australian dollars? So freaking expensive for these figurines, guys. But I am the loot gamer. As you guys know, I always showcase some really cool loot, especially after Fallout being such a disaster. But I am a massive fan of the loot itself. As you guys saw in my previous video, I did the lovely Power Fist itself. And in my next video, I'll be showing you guys the Bloodborne Hunter which is from Think Geek as well, which is going to look so awesome. If you guys want to check that out, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel or even ring, put on the, no the notification bell so you guys won't miss out the next awesome loot that I have showcasing for y'all. But I am The Loot Game. If you guys enjoyed, you guys know what to do. Subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Later.